recently we made our way through a treacherous spring snowstorm to pick up our newest addition to the farm. It's been a long time in the making, many years of preparation to get to the point where we felt ready to add a second LGD, a livestock guardian dog. I'd like to introduce you all to Shars and Sheep Rune, aka Rune. It's kind of embarrassing the amount of time that I spent trying to think of a fitting name for this little guy. I wanted to pick a name that was easy to say, relatively easy to spell, and that meant something important to me. So Rune is an old Norse name that means secret. And I also like that it has to do with rune stones, which is an ancient way of communication. This little ball of fur here is a registered UKC Sharplananak. He's pretty calm, a quick learner, and already showing some pretty neat natural protective instincts. Right now, he's 11 weeks old. When we got our other Sharplananak, she was already almost six months old. So to have a puppy from this age is really exciting. We get to start from a much younger age on training and socialization. Rune's sire, named Burko, was directly imported from Serbia. And his mom, Siva, is a sweet girl. They are both working on a sheep farm and they are excellent working dogs with great genetics. We originally were debating breeding our other Sharplan Nak Nora to this guy's sire, actually. But when we heard the breeder was expecting pups, we decided on that route instead. We had some stuff to get in order first, and we had to let Nora mature before we added another pup. It was also a struggle to find a well-bred, unrelated Sharplan Nak. Waylon, our golden retriever, he tries, but he really lacks the instincts needed to excel at it, and we never expected him to. With such a high predator load here, and backing onto a river, it's nice to have more than one dog to depend on. I'm very excited to have the two Shars working as a team, eventually anyways, once this guy's older. As much as I truly appreciate all they do to protect our stock, we really depend on them for our own protection. Since we lost a pig to a bear last spring and had a bear huff at me in the woods behind the chicken coop, I never go far, especially in the dark, without a dog. They can smell and hear much better than I can. Where we live up north, we have almost every predator you can think of. So Rune has had some really great exposure to sheep so far, and he's really respectful in his interactions with both people and dogs. We haven't had him that long, but he's been really good with the piglets and the cats. I am looking forward to getting him used to poultry this summer too. As long as he passes his x-rays, health, and genetic testing, we do plan to eventually breed him to Nora. Fingers crossed! It's very exciting to have some new Char genetics in Canada. This sweet boy is so wanted. He's been wanted since before he was even born, since before he was even conceived. We feel really honored to have him. Thank you so much to Jackie and her husband from Shars and Sheep near Rocky Mountain House, Alberta, for all of your hard work on importing and on the initial raising of this boy, and of course, for entrusting him to us. This is a big deal for us, and we are looking forward to this new and exciting journey with him.